It's in our nature to protect the ones we love, to stand up to any danger, to be strong and courageous, to always be prepared, to keep our family safe, to be the first line of defense. We are born to protect. All right, what's up and welcome to the channel. My name is Hexshot and this is Ruger and today I'm gonna tell you about the new G3 Urban Carry holster that I've been using now for about a month and a half to two months. And uh, my slogan on this channel pretty much the entire time has been, don't end up with a drawer full of holsters, buy a holster. And I still stand by that, but I, there's no way as a reviewer and somebody that's into concealed carry guns that I could ignore this holster because it is super popular and a lot of guys and girls really love it. So today I'm going to show you all the features, tell you what I really like about it. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. So the video that you've seen before, this video is from the USCCA. So if you're a law-abiding gun owner in the United States, and you're a concealed carrier or you want to become a concealed carrier use that link down below and check out the awesome resources that they have for you to become more uh, situational awareness and learn about concealed carry learn about self-defense a host of different features that they actually offer to y'all uh, along with self-defense liability insurance which is included in the plan it's an awesome service make sure you use the link down below and hey if you want to support this channel more than just becoming a subscriber, which I hope you are, more than liking the video, which I hope you do, and more than sharing the video, which I hope you will, you can join us over on Patreon for exclusive content, all kinds of, a host of great things. I don't have to tell you about Patreon, but we are on Patreon if you want to support us over there. Thank you very much. Let's get started with the G3 holster. I think you guys are really going to like this. All right, so let me walk you around the holster and then I'll show you what it actually looks like on me. I'm going to leave a link down to uh, Urban Carry down below. I could not believe how popular they are. And I've seen ads for them here on YouTube uh, for a number of different years. But this is the G3, so they've made some improvements over the G1 and G2. I'm not going to talk too much about that because I never use those holsters. I can only tell you what they say are the differences this is the star of the show and this is what we're going to talk about so this is 100 percent genuine leather um, there is another type i think bridal leather that you can get as well that takes a little bit longer to wear in um, but this is already preconditioned leather made in what eventually will be our new home state of tennessee uh, so really happy to see that but this is the cadet and this is the lieutenant so you're going to see i think three different sizes and basically it just depends on the size all right, so they are right and left hand specific, so depending on your draw type. And this actually sits under your waistline. So as opposed to, and again, this is the Tulsa holster. This is the Oath version, uh, which is a tuckable version that I've been wearing now for a while. Absolutely love these guys because of how minimal this design is, okay? It keeps your package small in a good way, uh, which I really love about the Tulsa. But these traditional style Kydex holsters actually ride at the waistline where this is going to sit below it. All right, so that offers some benefits that I'll show you whenever I put the holster on. It has a magnetic style flap right here to cover the clip. All right, so it's not gonna scream um, that you're wearing a gun. And really, if anybody even notices, if anybody has enough time to get off Facebook and Instagram and even look low enough at your belt line or right below your belt line, it, the chances of that happening are super minimal, so I, I really doubt that's going to happen. But again, it has that magnetic flap to cover that clip right there, uh, which fits a standard uh, one and a half inch belt, uh, which is what I have right here. Okay, so pretty nice clip there. You don't have to wear a belt, but they do recommend it because it's going to make for a better draw. But again, you don't have to have a belt. So this is going to be naturally tuckable because the way this goes down inside of your pants. And then of course you have your material right here. And then you do have uh, retention, uh, a little retention screw right here that you can adjust that. So this opens up, right? So this is clipped on your pants. This actually opens up and you have like this ramp right here that allows you to get in behind the gun, right? And then draw it out. And it kind of goes in at a 45 degree angle. Now this has the same type of retention like a Kydex holster would have, but it just has a single clip down here. Puts the retention around the trigger guard, which is where you actually want it. Um, and also, you know, if you have a revolver 
um, or if you have any type of a gun that has lights or lasers or anything like that, it's going to use a magnetic style instead of what they call the lock leather clip like what I have here. It'll use a powerful magnet to hold the gun in place. So if you have lights and lasers, if you have different size barrels, if you have any kind of attachments, ton of different guns that they, I mean, they offer a lot of guns. And really, from their website, the guns aren't the holsters aren't gun specific unless you get into revolvers and then lights and lasers. So really the retention is different. The guns or the holsters themselves are not too much different. Really it's just the size. So you don't want to have a gun that's too small uh, for a bigger size holster like this lieutenant right here which is for the P365 because it can make it harder to actually draw. But it still clicks into place. You can actually see and probably here, that is still clicking right into place there. It just, you have a bunch of extra material because you don't have the grip length and size to get a hold of that to get it out of there. So you can do it, but I would not recommend this at all. The least amount of material, the better. Now again, I could take this P365 and theoretically, theoretically it should work in this style because these are semi-autos and they kind of have the same idea as far as the retention, I'm not really hearing a really positive click like I do with the Ruger. Um, you just want to get the right, you know, the moral of the story, get the right size for the right gun and you'll be good to go. Size is important here though and that's what we're going to talk about here in a second. As far as break-in time, dude, it really took me a day or two to really get comfortable with it. Now when I first put this on, I was like, there's no way. I got this one from Mrs. Techshot, the Ruger LCP, and then I got the P365 for myself. So I'm gonna stand up, I'm gonna show you a couple of different pan options that I've worn with this, and tell you what I like and what I don't like so much about this particular holster. All right, so here's the Lieutenant with the P365. One thing I really do like is how easy this is to get on and off. Once you get used to this, my goodness, it is super easy. So these pants right here, obviously, they fit me, they're not too big, they're not too loose. If this shirt is untucked like it is right now, again, there's probably not a soul on this planet that is gonna know I'm carrying unless they know me and they already know that I'm carrying, which wouldn't really matter anyways. So this is the great thing about this. No longer, <laughs> if you wear a holster like this, do you have to worry about a grip sticking up and actually printing out of the shirt, if I bend over, if I flex, if I exercise, which I barely do, if I move around, if I'm working on a car, if I'm, uh, whatever the heck I'm doing, you, you don't know because it's, it's already moving with your body. It's, it's sitting with your leg on the big part of your leg right there. It's already there, which is really, really awesome. That I, that, that's something I do absolutely love about this holster, but if you need it, it's right there. Okay, so it is a super quick and very, very different type of way of carrying a gun, uh, which I do appreciate. Now, if you're a, a three to, I don't know, five or six o'clock, you know, carrier, really three to five, you're gonna have trouble here because it's just gonna start sticking out the side too much and you're not gonna be able to draw it out as easier. You're gonna have to kinda bend over this way to even get the leather up and out of the way enough. So you may wanna just get used to carrying it right here where it rides along that fat part of your leg or the bigger part of your leg and you should have no problems. Now it is left and right draw specific you could, I guess, cross draw, but it's gonna be kind of hard to do that. So just kind of keep that in mind. So these are a little bit more fitted pant. Let me try it with the Cadet with the Ruger LCP2. This, I think, is where this gun, or, or where this holster really, really shines. Because with a smaller gun and, and less material, look at that. I mean, literally disappears. I could have this shirt tucked in and nobody is gonna know. Now, what if somebody says, hey, what is that little flap right there over your belt? It's a belt retention system. You know, it kind of keeps my belt just, you know, 
pugs close to my body or it's a magnetic phone holder or whatever the case or you don't even really need to know <laughs> whatever the case may be it doesn't look like anything really at all now let me show you with the wranglers on that are a little bit looser fitting how much more concealable this can actually get so let me show you without a belt here that it you know you can do this all right a little bit looser fitting no problem at all. Let's see if we can draw it. Yes, we can. We got the gun out. We're good to go. If I need to put it back in, super easy to do. Now let me put my belt back on. Here is the Lieutenant P365 with a tucked in shirt. And even then, there ain't too many people that are gonna say, man, what is that thing poking out? I mean, yeah, anyways, I won't go there. But if you wear skinny jeans, this ain't gonna work for you, sorry. But if you wear regular men's pants, this is going to work pretty good. But do you see where, do you see where the, the, the more material, it starts to get a little bit more noticeable. Now, if I take, if I take my phone and I put it in my pocket, at that point, it's really nothing. I think that a lot of people probably do that anyways. Now, that would kill your whole uh, idea of having a magnetic phone holder. <laughs> But that's neither here nor there. It's really none of nobody's business anyways. So if I take this back off and I do it with the LCP2, it's going to be really not noticeable at all. So there you go. There's the tucked in look. So I hardly ever tuck in my shirt anyways, but you can see that this thing has a lot of different uses. All right, so the biggest thing with this holster that you're going to want to practice with is drawing okay and this is where I say less material is actually better because it's so much easier to draw this gun with the smaller cadet style holster or you know just the smaller guns I'd say in general because you have less material there to try to get up and out of your pants when you switch to the bigger style you'll notice just even right here I mean this is a no stress no whatever situation all right, and with practice, you can do this pretty efficiently, I think. But just to kind of show you what I'm talking about, see the amount of force that it took to get the bigger gun out. I'm trying to pull a bigger gun up and out of my pants. And also, you're going to want to get used to grabbing the gun from up here. Again, it's just one of those things you got to keep in mind. That's why I think this, this holster system is amazing for the smaller guns and it's okay for the bigger ones. You're just gonna wanna have to get used to getting that thing up and out of there and pulling it with force and making sure that your belt and your clip is secure in place. Not to say you can't do it, it just takes more effort. It just takes more effort to get that thing up and out of there. And yeah, you can actually do it one-handed too. I'll show you that here really quick. If you needed to do it one-handed for whatever reason, you could of course pull this up get it up out of the way and it's going to be a little bit tougher obviously but it can be done with one handed and the holster just goes back down at like a not a not a 90 degree angle more like a kind of like a 45 degree angle i guess you would consider that so as you can see this is an amazing option if you move around if you're in a business setting if you're jogging any number of different scenarios that you may be in this works really well because it's it's moving with you and you don't even have to think about it. So I am super surprised that I like this as much as I do. I like it more for the smaller guns than I do for the bigger guns. And by the way, I'm sitting on with the uh, cadet right here with the LCP2 and I don't feel it at all. You, you literally just have a piece of leather just poking up against my belly and that's it. I don't even feel it at all. So that's a pretty cool thing too. So if you're somebody that's not really into Kydex, you find it uncomfortable for whatever reason. Now, is this gonna replace my Tolster? No, not at all. But this is really good for certain situations and I will be wearing it and I have been wearing it for those situations. And I, I absolutely love this thing. This is a really surprisingly amazing option. And they do have some other options on their website as well, but I'm gonna leave a link down below. If you decide to buy from these guys, use that link because you actually help support the channel at the same time. Unfortunately, I don't have a discount code for these guys. They run about $70, I think. 
So, you know, that's about what a good holster is going to cost you anyways. So if you decide to shop from them, just use that link down below and that'll help us out too. But this is an amazing option, guys. I am super surprised that I like it as much as I do. But this is really cool. And, and like I said, if you're somebody that's bothered by Kydex or whatever the case may be, you may want to try this option out because I do really think this is a great option, like I said, for those certain situations where you need something that's below your waistline that you can move freely in. So let me know if you carry it with an Urban Carry currently, or if you're looking at getting one of these, let me know what you think down in the comments below. We'll see you in the next one. And as always, hold them down.